Are you aware that there are actually three methods for measuring how long it takes for the Earth to revolve around the Sun? Welcome to Moo Math and Science in the Orbit of the Earth. I have a simple model here called an orrery that shows us how the Earth revolves around the Sun. The Earth revolves in a counterclockwise direction around the Sun. It also orbits in a prograde manner, which means it revolves and rotates in the same direction, and that is counterclockwise. There are actually three methods for measuring how long it takes for the Earth to revolve around the Sun. First, there is the sidereal method. One complete orbit takes 365.256 days, during which time the, travel, the Earth has traveled 940 million kilometers, or 584 million miles. And it measures a complete revolution around the Sun compared to the stars behind the Earth. Another method is called the tropical method. A tropical year is 365.24219 days, and it is the time from one vernal equinox to the next vernal equinox. And another method is the animalistic year, which is 365.2596 days, and it's the time from one perennial to the next perennial, and the perennial is the point of the orbit of the Earth or in which it is closest to the sun. As the Earth is traveling around the Sun, it travels at an amazing speed of 600, about 675,000 miles per hour, which would be roughly 107,000 kilometers per hour. Now, if you look at this orrery, there is one slight problem. As the Earth is traveling around, it's in a circle. However, the Earth's orbit is an ellipse, and the Earth has an average distance from the Sun of 149.60 million kilometers, or roughly 93 million miles from the sun. So there you go, a couple facts about the Earth's orbit around the sun. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.